p.m. show on CRN. I'm Michael Horn. Once again, the host of our show, Fred Dreyer. Thank you, Michael Horn. Uh, great to see you again. You're getting uh, you're getting a tan by the moment. I am getting tan. You're losing that uh, peaked uh, liberal look. You look like you've Thank been uh, out uh, out being uh, whipped by liberals. By the way, gas is like five bucks in California now, you know? Yeah. And I heard somebody say on the news, you know, this is private enterprise doing this. Can you imagine the government gets involved in price now on this thing? You'd have gas that's up to like 20 bucks a gallon. Well, the government was handling it. Well, I mean, the gas companies are doing whatever they can do. Let's take off. You want Obama, you want to help us out? Take the freaking taxes off the, uh, the gasoline right now. Lower the price by cutting off the gas tax. Well, there you have it. They won't do Hold it. Hold it for six months while you're getting reelected, pal. They, they they don't want to do that because the government makes more money per gallon of gas than the gas company. Of course they the do. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, Fred. Government can't be making more money because we can't depend on gasoline. So wait a second. Obama's telling us we can't depend on gasoline. And you're saying the government is depending on gasoline for money? Wait, wait, this is, doesn't make sense to me. Hold on a second now. I'm very confused. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We're, we can't depend on gas, but you're saying the government's depending on gas for revenue? Yes. Uh, it's actually the, uh, the cig- I can't believe it, it's that. a cigarette conundrum. You know, they, they've been telling us for like 25, 35 years now that cigarettes absolutely lead to cancer to everybody who ever comes in contact with it, let alone the people who smoke it uh, five, six packs a day. All of those people are now, they're going to save us. They're going to come in, and they're going to punish the, uh, the uh, cigarette companies for, not, uh, for, for putting stuff in there that makes it addictive. Okay? And so they do that, and, and what you wind up getting is a product that, is, um, that has been, that has been um, uh, um, mangled by the government, by regulations, only from the standpoint that if they were really looking out for you and really wanted your your health and had your health in in uh, in in, uh, in their hearts, then they would absolutely ban it and outlaw it. That's what they would do. But they keep it alive so they can tax it. That's why it's five dollars a pack now. You know, three eighty or what the heck it is a pack now. They keep it alive to, to, so they can tax it. They hate oil. They they de- they demean it. They don't want us making it or producing it so it goes down. But they're going to tax it. But they're going to tax it, and and they're taxing it like crazy. They're making a lot of money off of oil. Every barrel of oil, so they can every make those gallon of oil. electric cars that go like uh, give yeah. the money Nobody to Nobody wants them. Nobody wants them. It goes 35 wants them. miles and you got to recharge it. That sounds like a you really good deal. You know they should deal. do? They should give everybody who's on welfare, uh, everybody who's on welfare who, who who has more than five kids an electric car and see what happens to yeah, them. See how they work it. That's yeah, good. Let's, let's give them let one. Them, let, a, government, a free government car, That's but good. it's going to be electric, you know, and you got to have, uh, you're going to have uh, like a uh, you know, 1,000-foot uh, 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 cords. That's all you can drive because it'll come out of the wall socket. Okay, what I want to do here, uh, 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 Tom, is uh, we, have <laughs> we have Senator Lee and Secretary of Energy Chu. And, and what happened here is, is that Chu made a statement back in uh, 2008 about uh, key, uh, wanting pr- gas prices to go sky high. This is our Secretary of Energy, yeah, and, one of them? And, and then this is what he had to say He's now as a mea culpa. Absolutely. Number three. Are you saying that you no longer share the view that we need to figure out how to boost gasoline prices in America? I no longer share that view. Uh, you did then, but you don't now. Uh, when, as, when I became Secretary of Energy, I represented the U.S. government, and I uh, think that right now, uh, in this uh, in this hum-a, economic hum-a, hum-a. very slow but but uh, you know, uh, he's a return criminal. That we need to uh, we need to have these these prices well could have well affect uh, the comeback of our economy, and we're very uh, worried about that. And so, of course, we don't want the anything. price of gasoline to go up. We want it to go down. Yeah, wait, that, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. You mean to say that this nincompoop Barack Obama, our president, yep. put this guy in as the energy secretary, yeah. a guy that makes a statement he wants to see gas as high as it is in Europe? Exactly. Oh, that's my guy. Obama, you're an idiot. Well, not only is he an idiot, but this guy here can't even, as I always say, these guys are cowards and, 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 uh, and stupid within their own politic. For this guy to stand up there and, 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 and deny that he wanted to, to, to explode gas prices, <laughs> and now, in 2008. Change his mind. In 2008. They said this because they, they that was the beginning and the rollout of Obama's uh, business model. And now that it hasn't worked, they're all backing off of it. And there isn't one person in here that's going to gut this guy and tell this guy, hey, let me tell you something. You're a liar. 
people are watching you now lie. I want you to stand up in front of the American people and tell us you lied about this and tell us why suddenly you don't want prices to go sky high. Come on, tell us that. Tell there us isn't that. anybody in, in the Senate that has, that has the guts to stand up and start talking to these people like 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 you would talk to them right. if they Senator insulted Lee you in, in a question. parking lot outside Ralph's here. Exactly. You know. So uh, so anyway, we've got uh, uh, a couple of uh, our, our our candidates now uh, who have responded on the uh, uh, gas on, on the gas prices. Uh, uh, let me have number four. Here's Obama talk. Uh, here's Newt talking about Obama's responsible for high gas prices. Barack Obama is responsible for the high price of gasoline. He has followed a deliberately anti-American energy policy. Uh, he believes in a fantasy land where companies like Solyndra are somehow magically going to solve things. His answer in two speeches recently was algae. Uh, you know, we, drilling doesn't work, but algae does. Every American who believes they can put algae in their car this year, and I'm not against biofuels, but this was an absurdity. Um, the president cited natural gas. Uh, that natural gas has been found by drilling. Everything is found by drilling. It's unbelievable. Algae? I got some algae in my I shower. Got, I thought it was algae crumpler that tied in for the, for the Falcons. Good event. I don't know. Yeah, anyway, you, but, 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 but what we're getting here, folks, is, is just uh, in, this, in this brief time that we're together here today, what we're getting here is a uh, unbelievable amount of discord. This is where Obama's third year of this failed business model is now washing back up into our living rooms. And we've got to have a Republican Party that is going to be able to point to it and decide how they're going to treat it. If they don't attack it and kill Obama, figuratively, his policies. with his policies, you're finished.